What is up, Europe? I'm Cole Ford here. I'm going to be doing another one of those fun, fantastic European market watches. These will either be on Saturday or Sunday. Just kind of look forward to the weekend as long as I'm not dead in an event somewhere. You know, we'll be doing this for you guys. So this is the next rendition of Why is this more expensive in Europe? Starring me and the people that help. If you guys have suggestions for these as well, threads will be on Zodiac Duelist. Um, I make them every, oh, what is it? Uh, Monday, Thursday, and Friday, actually, at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So if you happen to see these, drop on in and talk about what you want to see. Let's dig on into Euro Market Watch, shall we? All right, what is up, YouTube? MQ40 here. Tier Zero Games has pre-sales available, and I'm extremely happy to talk about this. And then we'll dig on into Euro Market Watch today. But if you guys enter What's Good Five on checkout, you're gonna get the chance to save money on your order because that's what you come here, right? Great savings and a great chance to save money. Absolutely. So let's kind of see what's going on here. So for twenty-five fifty, we have the Boral Sword Dragon reprint. That's not too bad. Al Mirage, they have it twenty-two. Um, we saw pre-sales of these just dart out the front door when TCG Player had them so cheap. Just bada bing, bada boom, straight gone. Lamadas at 15. I believe these are going to be one per box. Kind of why you're seeing higher representation of value for these. Same thing with the Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, $15. Honestly, the Lamada is not terrible for 15. I also think engages at 12. Somebody commented like, "Oh, Robbie, you told us to buy engages when they could be in the Mega Tens." We have no confirmation if they're going to dump these again in the Mega Tens for dual reprints. Konami has dodged things like this before, so we'll see what they're going to do. But that is something to note. Outside of that, you know, Musketeer Max at 11 is kind of up there, but that's okay. Portal Anchors at 9 is absolutely fine. Vision Hero Ferris Seeker Air, 6 bucks is also not bad. Prank Tops for that $5 mark is acceptable. I'm okay with that. Artifact Lancy for three seventy four. Oh, absolutely. This is good value right here. Cyberstein for four bucks also is not bad. Um, if you're going in with Stein though, on this particular list, I would grab multiples. I have a very weird feeling that we could see a Cyberstein unlimiting of this list, where we could possibly see two Cybersteins in one format. Not looking forward to it, but I could definitely see it. Uh, Foolish Barrel and stuff. Ray for two fifty. It's not bad. Some limits for two fifty two is really good. Raptor Kaiju Slumber two fifty two also really good. A lot of these cheaper cards. Gurus for two fifty two. Hmm, that's not bad. I Arc Bendred for two fifty two is also not bad. Okay, so what I'm getting out of this? Once again, good decent value here. Like I like this. Now something else that caught my eye here: Herald of the Arclight at a dollar twenty six. Now, I assume that these are going to be more widely available, but this is really good. You know, the budget Necros players out there have been wanting to have something thrown at them for a while now. This is insanely good value. This would probably be the one. If I'm a budget player and I'm, I'm looking for something like this, uh, I think this is where I would go, honestly. Um, especially good budget stuff. Herald of the Arclight, kudos to you. You know, life is definitely good for that. Um, outside of the Shadal stuff, this is all pretty good value as well. Since the structure deck has been confirmed, essentially, and we're getting, you know, the base low rarity stuff, you may as well pick up the Seeker Airs now. $1.26 per copy is not bad. Al, and you know, with what's good, five, you're going to get the chance to save a little bit more money on that. Um, the White Dragons and stuff, I'm a little bit on the fence about. I, I've been talking about, I'm worried about it getting hit on the next list. Um, but, I mean, if you want to prove me wrong, go for it. All right, we're going to move on into Eurowatch now. Woo, my boy Utopia Double. Uh, while this card is like $2.50 to $3 in America, uh, this thing is like $0.79 cents in Europe. I mean, obviously, there's shipping on top of this, but ye old German copies, €70. Euro. Hmm, they start going up to about a dollar here, but you've got a lot of copies actually available to you. This is actually kind of interesting. Um, I assume post shipping and things you're going to be touching about the two two fifty mark, maybe three. So it's post shipping. It's about what you're looking at here. But it's interesting to see that these are so low, even on the European side of the game. Now, Harpy, perfumer, perfumer. 
um, however you choose to go about it. This one is booming, actually. We have one Italian copy at 8.82. Uh, I mean, you're looking at about $10. And you start to shove on up to about the 10 USD to 11 USD mark. So many Italian copies in the market. You eventually get to the French copies here. Uh, but, I mean, you really start to go up here. So, yes, you touch the French copies here. But when you start looking at the German, you're looking at 1550 you're almost at the $18 mark on these. That's pretty interesting. Uh, this card actually shooting up as much as it is on the side of the game over there. Like, I understand that the European players were excited to see Harpies perform and do so well. But, yeah, here we are, and we're still ticking. Uh, moving on along. Huh, I'm actually surprised about that. We've seen this buyout on our side of the game. This one is really interesting. So... We have the American copy, 64 euro, $72. But you to get to the first foreign copy is 80. All right. So $90 for this. And then, hmm, what is this? A Spanish copy at 90 euro. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. 101. Of course, you got the British copies. But the, the first feasible German copy on the market is $124 for this guy. Whew. Europe doesn't mess around with these. Now, a lot of good value on these. These are 19 euro, essentially. Basically, you're looking at $22, $23 on imperms. And so many of them on the market all across the board here on Germans. You're looking at $22, $23 USD a piece on these. This card sank. Like, look, look at this curve. Just, bleh. <laughs> that's that's really interesting to note that imperms have just fallen so much. Ignis continuing to do what Ignis does best. We're still seventeen euro essentially. We're still a nineteen to twenty dollar card, and Europe can't keep these in stock, to my understanding. This is one of the most consistent moving cards in and around Europe at this point in time, um, and they sell. Like, it's pretty amazing. Exod, the Master of the Guard. Now, this is from the World Championship 2010 pack. I just wanted to cover this kind of as like a joke. Uh, these things were 850. Uh, somebody also masked, or said that they wanted to see original. But hey, English copies are available at that price. Kind of what you're looking at. SD7, though, on the other hand, these, uh, ooh. Look at all these bad condition ones. Man, I gotta hit see more here. So many of these. Hello? No. So many bad copies on the market. Jesus. Oh, we've hit the dollar mark here. Oh, hey, I've arrived at my first near mint. Basically a dollar fifty. Alright, cool. We have a German copy. About two bucks. Alright. And looking at a solid two to two to four dollar card, depending on which variant you want to go with from which seller. Mare Mares. Solid two cents. Yay. <laughs> this never changes. Harpy's Feather Duster TP. All right. German for 175 euro. You're looking at 200 bucks um, for just the near mint Germans running around. It's pretty impressive, actually, that you're, you're this high. I mean, America's got their sh stuff at like $400. Like, but Feather Dust, you're looking at about 220. Uh, Harpy Queen Ultimate Rare. Oh man, Europe with these these buyouts. 29 euro for Unlim, near mint in what is this Italian? 32.50. All right. Well, we're gonna. Oh, we got a we got a first set Italian here near mint. Well, you already know how that's going to go. 52 dollars. Stay away from. What was it? Italian has the lowest GX era. Hmm. Do we... First Ed German. Is is this... Okay, no, we got a first edition German here at 80. So, for $90, you can buy First Ed. Now, we've also got another German up here. Front and back. Back. Uh, we're going to say 90 on this. Harpy Harpist. Ooh. How you doing, little Harpist? Uh, what are we looking at here? 0.30 euro. Cool. This is this is worth nothing. <laughs> Just like I thought. Harpy Channeler. Hmm. 
we're looking at here. Well, a good old Italian for 10 euro. We're back at it again for 11 bucks. Absolutely. And then, oh, here we go. We just keep on crawling down here. Oh, we finally found a German for 24 euro. Hmm. But is it worth it, though? <laughs> Personally, I don't think so, but 27 bucks. All right. Dingrisu continue. Look at this being downward spiral of depression. <laughs> 22 euro, though. <laughs> 24 bucks is about where we are right now. It's so cheap. Like, I'm surprised this card has fallen as much as it has. Stardust o Dragon. Ultimate Rare. First Edition. Let me guess. Oh. English. First here is... Huh. Oh, Japanese OCG card. Alright, cool. Can't look at that. Uh, we'll eventually hit one. Oh, oh nope. Oh, English. Excellent condition. Alright, that's pretty bad. Alright. Oh, we've hit an English... Oh, man. 62 euro? Hmm. For $70, I can buy an ulti first edition Stardust. Uh, but, looks like we hit our first German down here at 80 euro, which is $90. Yeah. Black Rose Dragon, let's go find a first edition, shall we? Hmm. Well, we got several mods I see along the way, which I'm not into that. So many of these. All right. We've arrived at our German at 65 euro. All right, ask for scans. All right, so 74. French copy, though, it's 75 euro, putting us about 85. I, that's that's pretty okay, but I mean, cause you've got a lump of these here. That's still pretty expensive. Shooting Star Dragon. Oh. Well, for 25 euro, I can get imperfections, but I guess we're looking at 24 euro on this guy. Which is 27 bucks for his ulti. It's not bad. Uh, I had the Ghost Girls requested. Uh, I only covered a Ghost Bell and whatnot here. 15 euro for first ed. All right, so 17 bucks. Consideration to picking up the first, by the way, because um, those little first edition stamps do mean something. Ash Blossom. Huh. Well, we just straight have an Italian copy listed for 23 euro. So 26 bucks. I think Europe means as much to their first editions as we do, but you're looking at 28 here as we kind of start deviating. But, okay, pretty solid. Ultimate to draw on Lockbirds. Ooh. Well, right out of the gate, we always have the Italian copies for 50 bucks. And then we, ooh, we have a Spanish copy at basically 51. And then we really start to go on up here. We have Yule French copy at $48. So these are, these are kind of floating about 54 bucks. Anywhere from 50 55 It's not bad. Ah, Majesty Maiden. These are so cheap. Take your pick. Basically a dollar. Uh, Beats. These actually kind of surprised me. These are still worth something. With an impending possible reprint, these things are still 8 bucks over there. Same thing with Mayhem's also being value. 380 basically on these? I'm looking at about 4 bucks. Uh, Nefarious, <laughs> this card's a joke, 0.2 cents a piece. And then regular copies of Nefarious, well, same thing, 0.2 cents a piece. Now, I know we didn't cover a lot on this Euro Watch, but we'll cover more next week. I have friends that are starting to help me build this because I've been told that a lot of the Europeans are happy to see this. So we'll continue to do this where I can for you guys, so buckle up, and we'll keep doing these every weekend. All right, guys, catch you on the flip side. Peace out. The ride never well truly ends thank you patrons without you guys i don't know what i'd be wearing in these videos i might be a truffle shuffle instant all over again guys please also check out van cole 40 for some awesome vanguard content some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well thanks for watching